Hey, good evening. A couple things I wanted to talk about uh, this evening are some questions I got uh, on social media, um, mostly pertaining to the America First agenda that I plan on continuing. So as I said, I'm an America First Republican um, that wants to very much continue the legacy that uh, President Trump began. Um, that stems on economic independence um, and economic prosperity. So basically, I want to get the federal government and their regulations out of private business. Um, that starts with the COVID lockdowns. I've discussed this before. We've got to end the COVID lockdowns. From uh, the congressional perspective, we need to cut off federal funding um, for COVID relief once this stimulus is passed. I'm going to do a more detailed video tomorrow on the current COVID relief boondoggle bill that's going on right now. Um, but back to America first. Uh, I plan on doing everything I can to deregulate our key industries out here um, and enrich them. Um, the timber industry <clears throat> has been drastically scaled back due to excessive environmental regulations that have killed jobs, hurt our economy, and also not protected the forest in any way. Um, as we saw this, this past summer with the wildfires, we have terrible forest management because these areas have not been maintained by the federal government and they haven't been maintained by the logging companies. So we need to get responsible forest management back in, responsible logging back back into our economy um, to revitalize that industry, which was the backbone of this the economy here in the Pacific North, Northwest and in the, in the third district. Um, that's part of putting America first. We can continue to uh, grow our own jobs here and um, make our economy thrive with what we have um, within our land. Um, the second part of that is the fishing industry. The fishing industry also has been uh, hurt badly by draconian environmental regulations coming down from the federal government. Um, a key issue that I was just um, made aware of by uh, fishermen that I spoke with was uh, Chinese unregulated fishing in the Pacific Ocean. So the Chinese coming in and not abiding by any of the rules that we expect Americans to, <coughs> to play by out in, out in our waters, um, pretty much hoovering up as much fish and um, sea life as they can for their own purposes to sell, um, to enhance their own economy. So we need to put strict, uh, strict restrictions back on China um, in the form of economic uh, sanctions and tariffs um, to ensure they stay off of our coastline and stay out of our waters and leave our natural resources alone and stay out of our, con our economy in general. The Biden administration has done nothing but invite them back in. Um, and the other part of America First is pushing back any time the Republican establishment or the Democrats don't put this country first. And it's one thing to say that you, you're an America First uh, candidate and that you like the things that President Trump did. It's another thing to actually push back when those things are being undermined. Um, my opponent, who's currently in Congress, has in the past said that she likes Trump's economic policies. That's why she could tolerate him in 2020. Um, that's all well and good. So she was uh, happy to benefit from him, but at the same time, she would not defend him um, when we really needed her to. Um, so that's why that's why I'm running. That's why my, I'm putting my, myself out there, because I want to be the one that goes and fights for the people of this district to put this country first. Um, another huge way that we put America first and we continue the America first Trump legacy is by ending our endless wars and getting out of these foolish, costly, and quite frankly, dangerous foreign interventions. It's near and dear to me. I lost my wife fighting overseas. I lost countless friends fighting overseas. And the vast majority of our blood and treasure that's been spilled in the Middle East has gotten us nowhere. But in the strategic position that we're in right now, Russia and China know they can chip it away, away at us in these foolish wars, and we really get nothing from it. Um, we need to retain energy independence over here uh, in America, back in the States. <clears throat> we need to open up the XL pipeline and do more exploratory drilling. Um, we need energy independence. We are an energy powerhouse if we choose to be. Again, it's one thing to say that you support these things. Um, it's another thing to actually vocally fight for them. And we need fighters. The time to fight is right now. This is not the time to have establishment Republicans, career politicians, fighting for us. The Democrats and the far left are coming at us with everything that they have. Um, so the go along to get along Republicans who do nothing um, but lose elections and try to appease the media, who will never accept them. They, they'll accept their 
they'll accept their capitulation, but they won't ever fully accept them in the establishment. Um, they're all too happy to have the establishment Republicans there um, doing, you know, whatever it is just to get a good positive headline in the New York Times. We need strong Republicans that will put this country first and fight. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And uh, quite frankly, I need your help if you want me to continue to do it. Um, I need, need some help in the fundraising aspect. Um, and then I also need to have continual engagement with you. Let me know what issues matter to you. Give me your take. Let me know um, what I could do as a congressman to put our district and our nation first. Um, so if you like what I'm doing, please go to uh, joekentforcongress.com. Um, engage with me, and please, if you can, I'd uh, love to have your donation. Thank you.